what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the first episode of How to Do It TV, where I teach you guys how to do random things from putting together lawnmowers, how to change a tire, and something as simple as how to scramble eggs. So anyways, let's get right into the first video. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to put together the new Craftsman M250 160cc powered by that Honda GCV 160 Easy Start engine. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to put this lawnmower together. And I gotta be honest with you, it's not hard at all. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you will notice when you pull this out of the box is this is a beautiful machine, very well built. Love all the plastic coverings, easy to clean. And from the looks of it, it also stores away easily, folds away easily. So let's just get right into it. First thing I'm gonna do is take the lawnmower's handlebars pull them all the way back until your locks lock. Then we're gonna go ahead, set those locks there, come over to the left lock, very easy, set it there. And now your handlebars are locked and loaded. So we've now completed the first three steps to putting this lawnmower together. Step one, taking it out of the box. Now when you take this out of the box, I highly recommend that you use two people to take the lawnmower out of the box because it is a little bit heavy, the weight gets a little bit weird and you can hurt yourself. Then we go to step two, which is the unfolding of the lawnmower's handlebars. And then of course, step three, which is locking and loading your handlebars with the two gray side locks. Now our next step, which is step four, we're now gonna extend our handlebars from the base of the lawnmower. So if you look here at the base of the lawnmower, you have a screw here and a screw here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew the right one Sit that there somewhere we can find it. Go to the left, screw that one out. And so that we don't lose it, we're gonna also sit that right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull them out. And now that we have our handlebars extended from the base of the lawnmower, now you see it set right down into the screw hole there. Also there, so they're both lined up. So now we're gonna take our screws, screw them in them in nice and tight so it locks and we're going to take our other one on the left and there screw that in make sure we screw that in also nice and tight and now our handlebars are completely locked and loaded and also fully extended all right so we've completed the first four steps step one taking it out of the box step two unfolding the lawnmower's handlebars Step three, lock and loading the handlebars. Then we have step four, which is extending the lawnmower's handlebars from the base of the lawnmower. And now we're gonna go to step five, which is assembling our dust blocker and connecting it to our lawnmower. All right, so we have our dust buster. Uh, it's already somewhat assembled. Now you're gonna have it with the handle up. You're gonna have dust buster on the same side as the handle. And basically these rubber flaps, as you can see, they have clamps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna work the first clamp. See here, you're gonna work it over the bar there. You're gonna take your second clamp, clamp it over the bar there. So now our first clamp is down. You're gonna spin it around, take that under there. Same thing, clamps. You have your little smaller clamp here, there. You're gonna add this clamp. Slowly work your way around. They're very simple. They clamp right on, very easy. You're gonna work the bottom with your clamp there, clamp there. Then we're gonna work our last two clamps. Let's see if we can get this together. Get that clamp there, clamps there. Our smaller clamp, we're gonna take our last clamp here, clamp there, handle up, and we're all set. Now that we have our dust buster fully assembled, next step, now we're gonna connect it to the rear base of the lawnmower. All right, so now we're gonna connect our dust buster to the rear base of the lawnmower. You're gonna simply lift up the flap. Now, if you look closely, which you probably can't see, but when you have the actual lawnmower, you're gonna see a groove there, a groove there. And what those grooves are for, you also have a nipple on the right and left side of your dust buster. All you're gonna do is take those in there, put them in those slots, that's it, it's that simple, guys. All right, so now that we have our dust blocker fully assembled and now connected to the rear base of the Craftsman lawnmower, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna use it because 
it's just going to be too much connecting, disconnecting, dumping, connecting, disconnecting, dumping. I mean, you're probably going to have to disconnect and dump this thing probably 10 times every time you actually cut your grass if you're going to do the front and the rear. So what I'm going to probably use is the side grass chute. But I wanted to make sure that I show you guys how to assemble and connect the dust blocker. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to connect the side grass chute. All right, so now we have our side discharge chute. And I'm going to be honest with you, it is very simple. All you're going to do is lift the chute up. And under here, you have a piece here and a piece here. You're just going to simply take this, lock it there, put it down, and you're done. All right, so now we're almost done with assembling our Craftsman lawnmower. So the next thing we're going to get into is I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the height and the cut of your lawnmower. So now let's set the lever. You're going to simply take it, pull it out, back it up. Now you're on level two. Repeat, pull out, back up. Now you're on level three. Again, pull out, back up. Now you're on level four, so forth and so forth. And if you want to go back to level one, pull it in and just take it all the way down. And now it's set. Now on the rear tires, I also noticed that there are no numbers, but you do have your different notches down below. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take it, same thing, pull the lever out, back it up. Now you're set at level two, back up. Now you're set at level three, so forth and so forth. And like I told you guys when I first started the video, the Craftsman lawnmower is very, very simple to assemble. All right, so now that we have our lawnmower fully assembled, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to maintain your lawnmower. Now that is the most important part of owning a lawnmower is maintaining it because if you don't maintain it, properly is not going to function properly. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the oil. I'm gonna show you where the oil goes, how to put it in. I'm also gonna show you how to change out your filters, how to open your filter case, how to close your filter case. And we're also gonna get into how to put your gas in and what kind of gas you should be using in your new Craftsman lawnmower. Let's get into it. All right, so here on the right side, you'll see this is where your oil goes. You're gonna turn that counterclockwise, just give it a couple of twirls. That should come out, voila, voila. Next, you're gonna use the Craftman two cycle engine oil that comes with this machine. Replace that, turning that clockwise, making sure it's nice and snug. All right, so next, I'm gonna show you your filter system or better yet, your auto choke system. Very, very simple when it's time to change your filter and you should change this pretty often. All you're gonna do is give this a little push down. That's gonna pop out, another little push down there. It'll open, sit it there like so. And then here's your filter. You can order these. You can probably go right to Lowe's and get new filters. And once you get your new filter, you're just gonna simply push that in there. You're gonna take this like so, push those clamps back in, and it's just that simple. So now let's get into the gas. Now it says to avoid engine damage, do not use E85 or fuel containing more than 10% ethanol. Also on the oil, you wanna use 10W30 oil. So anyway, let's get right into it. So again, you're gonna turn this counterclockwise to open it. It also has this nice little latch here so you can let that hang. I have my gas here and you can probably go to the gas station, just get regular 87 gas. Go ahead and put some gas in there. And now that we have gas, now we're gonna grab our gas cap. Make sure it's on there nice and snug. Give it a couple of twirls clockwise until you hear that click and that lets you know that it's nice and snug and good to go. Now here, you have a hose connected here to clean this big baby. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your water hose here, turn your engine on, let the water run, cleaning the blade and everything underneath, disconnect it and you're all set. And that's a pretty good touch if you ask me. So now let's see how this bad boy works. We're gonna pull our lever back. Wow, whoa, one pull, that thing was fired up, ready to go. I, listen, this was a very easy machine to assemble. Hopefully you guys thought the same. Hopefully that this video that I made helped you guys out a lot. And with that being said, I'm gonna go cut the rest of my grass. I'll be right back with another video giving you guys my honest review, my honest opinion on this piece of machinery. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Love you guys, peace.